Hi everyone, Gabby here. How you doing? So we're in October and my last video was in May. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I keep doing this, don't I? I'm so bad. Anyways, we got uh I got an index card here with things I'm supposed to mention that have passed from all these months and stuff. Fun stuff to ramble about. Probably not for you, but yeah. It's therapy for me. <laughs> so there were some weddings. My friend Mary's wedding. My friend Manal's wedding. Uh, we had my cousin's bachelorette. I we went to that. It was really nice. It's like a Barbie theme. Then we went. We had her uh, wedding. Uh, it was really big. It was at a church first, and it was like a block away. That's where the reception was. It was really pretty. It was com almost like an outdoor inside thing. Oh my god, I got a bubble. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Not lady like. <clears throat> so that was very great. And um, I see. Uh, we, I mean, I spent a lot of time with my friends, my family, um, you know, just living life, uh, trying not to be. You know negative or anything trying to think of the positive and just trying to live real world basically you know uh there were some graduations my sister's friend vika graduated my friend denrick graduated we had a lot of fun uh it uh he graduated from southwestern college and now he's in this dsu san diego city college or a uh, university sorry not college university <laughs> so he kind of goes to school close to my house but he lives so far off like 45 minutes maybe away from the school poor guy him and his friend Joe, or our friend Joe, um also goes now after uh after a break from when he graduated in southwestern uh see we had some baby showers my friend stephanie had her baby shower my friend sheena they already had their babies they're so cute and adorable i already met stephanie's baby and he is so tiny i think they're already gonna know big there's just so many babies everywhere <laughs> literally one person is popping one each each month seriously it's crazy um it's the new generation people new generation and um, then we oh I also went to Anime Expo this year uh, up in LA. Just want to make sure this is looking okay. I'm still dark. Okay. Um, we. Oh, I. Excuse me, I'm trying to make a video. Oh, and this is sprinkling outside finally. Yep. That's me without my glasses, people. I had to squint to see. And, um, and, uh, the, 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 stop it, stop it. Oh. It was Tuesday that they picked me up, or well, Joe picked me up to his house to sleep over at his house and aunt's, and his sister. I adopted her like a little sister. I love her. Hi, Aunt Chan, if you're watching this. And so I, we were gonna, I was going to stay with them the one night. And then the following day, Darren was going to drive over there. We were all going to get our things packed and stuff on his truck. And we were all going to drive up to L.A. Uh, we went to this hotel called The Line. People, if you're planning on going to The Line, do not go there. It was horrible. That place was evil. Just evil. The first two nights, my friends couldn't sleep at all. The first two nights, I think. And I think the third night, I couldn't sleep. I got spooked. They were screaming. They were just... There's a valet parking. There's no choice. They have to park the car for you, and they charge you. There's always these hitting fees and stuff. No. And do be careful, because you do not want to get charged for anything you used like drinking or snacks that they offer you there, be careful. Don't use any of them because they will charge you. And me and all my friends and me, we had what we had. 
So it was a just big ordeal. But luckily, things got fixed, problems, and we were able to go to Anime Expo for four days. Ah! I want to go next year so bad. But money is hmm, a problem right now. If my friends are really thinking about going next year, I really, really need to focus about getting money. I need to at least have $500 in my pocket. Because 200 at least has to be for a hotel. Unless we're lucky enough and we can get a hotel earlier. Of course, I can ask my friend Erica if she wants to go with us. I mean, that would be extra help for us, too. But we'll see. We'll see how it gets. If not, we can always go the following year. And we started that. Uh, then it was my uh, friend Kathy's uh, daughter, Isabella's second birthday. And then Sophia, my niece, turned a year old. She's walking, running, climbing. She's all over the place. Uh, she was Princess Sophia at her birthday. And there were some things I wish went better. And I can't say too much because my sister, you know, she'll be doing a YouTube uh channel soon enough probably in january it just wants to be like a beauty guru and uh, kind of give uh her points on motherhood kind of she's a new mom but i think she still needs a lot to learn before she does any sort of thing like that so i mean the beauty guru she's done all her life but mom it's her first time so i say she needs to think about it more anyways um I started my fall semester at at Grossmont College. I'm taking three classes right now: aerobic dance, uh, medical terminology, and English 120. My teacher for aerobic ended up with honorary cancer, so she cannot finish the semester with us. So our new teacher, she's very nice. She's kind of tough. The work the workouts are really really tough. Um, especially for me, I need to take it easy because of my back spinary. If you watched my last video, I mentioned that I got sick in February and I ended up diagnosed, diagnosed with viral meningitis and they treated it like if it was bacteria, like if it was, you know, could have been deadly. But luckily, you know, it wasn't that. And, uh, so I'm trying to be careful of staying calm, trying not to get stressed get any anxieties or anything like that. I mean, I had an anxiety attack like was it two days ago or something because of, I re I didn't realize we had midterms coming up this week and the following. And our midterm essay for English 120 is this Monday and I'm not very good at that. And I feel pres pressured, to, you know, and I hope I don't have a meltdown. Let's pray. So after that, let's see. But everything else is pretty much. I've got a solid A I, uh, so far in that medical terminology class. So yay! I just hope everything else is all good on the grades. See, uh, see. So basically, we're okay. We're in October. No work, no money, no boyfriend, no life besides school. Pretty much sucks. So, um, and speaking of men, changing the subject here, I went on dates, tried, I even tried to date one guy, didn't last long, just things he did was not making me very happy, and I mean, it was just to try something. I mean, I wasn't really, I mean, he was the type of guy that I normally like. So, you know, he asked me, the first time we met, he asked me. And I'm like, sure. But then just things, man, <laughs> it just didn't work out. <laughs> Plain and simple. And um, right now, there's one guy I've given so many chances. And I think this is going to be the last chance because I don't want to deal with these same guys again. I just want to start a new, but I told him it's all in all serious that I need you to show me that you're serious about having a relationship and seeing something 
later on because I'm 30. I just turned 30 years old. Okay. My body at 30 literally just started acting up all weird. And I'm like, no, no, no. What the hell is going on? I'm not happy I turned 30. I'm feeling super old. Well, my body is. My mindset is still freaking kid. Seriously. I don't know. I have to go. <laughs> and, um, well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, you know, if I don't see, like, if it's going anywhere, then, you know, I'm just gonna, like, stop it <laughs> before it becomes anything serious. So, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, so right now I just need to focus on midterms and my head is just like pulsing and I just don't want to, I don't want to focus on it because I just, I'm tired because it's one quiz after another or essay after another and I'm like, I just turned a third essay last week and then he just start, starts telling us about the midterm. He could have started talking about that last week. He could have had more time with it. No, he waits till fucking Wednesday to mention something. I'm sorry. I'm pissed. I'm annoyed. I'm aggravated. And I need some more coffee. Anyways, I'm gonna mention another, th another thing. I'm really gonna try to make videos. Now that I found this, and hopefully it doesn't move my camera, and I found this. I had let my brother borrow this. This one is when I was, I, when I was in high school. I had to do a video or something, and I got this. And I'm gonna see, hopefully it works with my computer, because it's a new one. But I'm gonna ask him to come over and install it, because I'm not a tech person. And I know I'll probably screw up my computer, so I don't wanna do that. And pretty much, I'm gonna right now get a notebook, write things that I need to do, that I wanna do, or stay focused about it. Um, some topics or whatever I have to do. I'm gonna even go back to my own videos, Rewatch him and we'll see from there. Anyways, my dears, that will be all. And I hope you guys uh, have a lovely day or the rest of the day. Or have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Also, don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Don't do it. You can wait till you get home. Seriously, don't do it. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Smooches. Until next time.